Hi, I'm Tishai, and I'm going to show you how to set up stealth window coverings for your car. Today I drive a 2018 Honda Accord, but this is not the first vehicle I've used for car camping. In the early days, when I had a Toyota truck with a camper shell, I built a bed in the back and cut out window coverings from large cardboard boxes. To measure the window size, I made a paper template out of grocery bags and traced the window outline onto the cardboard. I'd paint one side black and use duct tape to hold them in place. Later when I had a Volkswagen van, I still used cardboard, but it stayed in place from the window wells without tape. Cardboard is hands down the cheapest way to go. But there are definitely easier and better ways to get your window blinds today. This time around, I decided to try a set of pre-made covers that I found online. Manufacturers now make blackout window coverings for a wide range of makes and models. Just do a search for your vehicle. The way my bed is set up in the back of the car, I would only need them for the back seat and rear window. If you're serious about converting your car into a camper, then check out this video on how I built a bed in the back of my Honda Accord. They are black on one side, silver on the other and they fit right in. Except for one thing. Ripples. It doesn't just look like a void. It looks like something's covering the window. Unfortunately, I'll probably need to cover these in black fabric to make them more stealth. I picked up some fabric, cut it to the proper shape, and used Gorilla Tape to affix it to the back of each of the three rear window coverings. So that looks really good. One thing you want to do is make sure you get the fabric tight when you're taping it. And we're going to see what the difference is. Stealth mode activated. So for these little side windows, nothing came with the kit. I just put paper up there and measured it myself and made these from a mailing envelope and then just put some gaffer tape over it and then I marked L and R so I know which one is which and they just go right in there like that looks like I have to add a little bit to the bottom that's oh, easy to do and then they'll be in there you always want ventilation and if you're staying in a hot weather location heat can obviously be an issue as well I installed rain guards so I can crack the windows without anyone knowing they're open and you can prop open the window covering with a rolled sock. I also have a small fan that I plug into my Jackery power unit to increase the ventilation. In addition to the rear window coverings, I'm also hanging blackout curtains just behind the front seats. A small opening is located at the top of the front seat belt mechanism. I just popped out the covers and inserted a spring tension rod that expands up to 48 inches. It. And just like that, I have a private bedroom in the back of my Honda Accord. Super comfortable, super stealth, sleeping setup. Until next time, this is Tishai. Have fun on your travels.